Searing Gorge is an ashen, cavernous zone found in the mountains of the Eastern Kingdoms. This region is mainly dominated by the dark iron clan of dwarves, whose capital resides deep in the heart of Black Rock Mountain. Within Searing Gorge, the dark iron race of dwarves are split between those who are loyal to Emperor de Grand Thorisan, the Dark Iron Clan, and those who pledged themselves to the Thorium Brotherhood, a faction neutral to both the Horde and the Alliance. Even within recent history, Searing Gorge was a peaceful, if not mildly treacherous mountain range extending from Red Ridge. However, the summoning of the elemental Fire Lord Ragnaros charred the place, whipping up storms of black soot and spreading shallow pools of molten lava across the land. Even with such catastrophe in the area, the Dark Iron Clan has only exacerbated the situation, digging ever deeper into their widening canyon network, which they call the Cauldron. Cauldron is a bellowing chasm covered in excavation equipment, metal scaffolding, and twisting tower-like cranes. The Dark Iron Clan sends hundreds of patrols through the basin, which pass through checkpoints all along the sprawling tent city, which their laborers have built along the cauldron's edge. These camps are fortified with imposing war golems which can be found alongside fiery elementals who have been brought under the clan's control. But it is beneath the surface where the Dark Iron Clan's operations are truly manifest. Carved deep into the crust of the world itself, endless lines of slave laborers toil in spiraling tunnels, bleeding away the hot magma from Azeroth as they continue to push ever further cutting the precious gems and bountiful ore from the ever-expanding subterranean realm. The slaves are treated as expendable chaff by their dark iron masters. The sheer number of living souls brought below to toil in these conditions has made this place one of the cruelest across the world. The endless torment of the slave masters and drive to push into the heat and the darkness has driven the slaves mad. The slaves will attack anyone interfering with their work in the cauldron, even former allies or potential liberators. Such grueling efforts have done little to slake the clan's thirst for power. If anything, they have only become more efficient at throwing bodies into the Earth's furnace, intensifying their ruthless ambition with each slave broken and gemstone cut loose. The materials extracted are transported to massive foundries, where they are smelted into terrible weapons of war. These impromptu factories, which mar Searing Gorge, are fueled by the region's abundant lava flows. They belch thick plumes of smoke into the air, intensifying Ragnaros's ash storm with a perpetual, polluted haze which lingers over the landscape making the very act of breathing a laborious task for anyone not accustomed to the toxic environment. The clutch of the Dark Iron Clan has choked the life from Searing Gorge. No plant life of any kind can survive in such a place. The few wild creatures which have been able to remain in the area feed only on each other or on those unlucky few who stray too far from camp. Searing Gorge serves as a powerful reminder of the consequences of unchecked, relentless greed. It is a region in which little life can survive for long. A black, cancerous tumor on the world, which grows with each passing day. The land has been irrevocably altered by the impassionate desire of a single, ruthless clan, who in their mastery of fire and earth have wrought unparalleled devastation, leaving only a legacy of ruin in their wake. Searing Gorge is more than a place. It is a mirror, a perfect reflection 
of the Dark Iron Clan's descent into corruption. What was once a serene and mountainous landscape has been transformed into a polluted industrial nightmare, dominated by the unyielding drive for ever more resources, armaments, and slaves. 